My name is Shaya Kindale. I am a senior CCS engineer working at Network Row. I've been leading the work on EU links as part of the generic interface and boundaries project under the Target 190 Plus program. EU links set out to achieve a modular signaling architecture with standardized interfaces, allowing two compatible systems to communicate regardless of who supplies them. It allows for more use of off-the-shelf components and significantly reduce lifecycle costs for signaling systems. This video will demonstrate the EU links train detection system standardized interface, otherwise known as TDS SCR. The demonstration is a collaboration between Network Rail, Hitachi Infocon, Talis, and Frauscher. We are also backed by several suppliers involved in various stages of the specification development. In the next part of the video, we will showcase the TDS SCI interface between an axle counter and electronics interlocking. The demonstration will be split into two sessions. In this session, you will see the Talis AZLM axle counter based in Germany connect over IP to the Hitachi Infocon simulator based in the UK. Changing this one here now to the Excel sim. So, and we see now that the sections are now all disturbed, operational, so and ready to be sent, get a reset command. Okay, um, now we see that all sections of the station are indicated as clear um, to the interlocking. So now I'm just switching now to our detection point simulator where we can simulate um, the wheels of a train. So and I'm passing now here from the, um, the first detection point in reference direction into the section. So going here, we can see now with the first axle um, that the section changed to occupied here on the red color. In the background, we received here now from the Excel counter system um, that the section TVP S1A changed to occupied. So if I'm going now with the next Excel, it's not changing anymore until I'm now starting to leave the section again with the next detection point. So it is 1A to 1B. So I'm going here with the first Excel. So 1B is now occupied um, and we can see here as well that the section 1A changed the color because now the train is out count, uh, the train is out counting now from the section. So it means that we are enabling now the conditional reset again that is possible due to the out count. And with the next axle, the section is changing to clear. And this we can do now for all the uh, detection points on that line sequence. So section 1A is now um, clear, I'm counting now two axles in. So we see now that the section 1A got occupied. So F and with the status FC not possible. So I'm sending now from the interlocking simulator um, a FC um, C command to the section 1, 1A for the conditional reset. So FCC. So we send now here the FCC command and the ASLM saying command reject 
um, due to operational reasons. In this session, you will see the Frauscher Axel counter based in Austria connect over IP to the Hitachi Infocon simulator based in the UK. Okay, so we've established connection and what the OXL sim is showing us in the log on the screen is that we've received an invalid status for each of the TVPSs that we've been notified of. Um, as the status is being reported as invalid, we're not able to map that to any of the coloured indications on the track diagram. So that remains in white um, as if we've never received anything. Um, and the reason for this is that we, although we've been told that we're in the disturbed state, we're not getting an indication of the reason for that disturbance, either technical or operational. Okay, I will now count in some axles and move the train from 1A to 1K. I now count an X lane and send it forth clear. As you have seen from the results, EULINX technology is now ready to be used. It allows safety critical messages currently in use in the railways today to be sent in a different format while retaining their initial purpose. By standardizing the interfaces, we create a modular and upgradable infrastructure.